from Scotland! It was brought to my attention recently that I have not done a single vlog the entire time I've been here, which is 10 months, by the way. I'm also moving back to Nashville on Wednesday, so I thought, if I'm gonna do a vlog in Scotland, I should probably do a vlog now. I also haven't started packing yet, but rather than do the packing, I have decided to do the video. So hello, you can tell it's Scotland, not because I'm outside in the kind of gray weather, but because I have a sign. So I just wanted to check in, say hello, answer some Q&As before I head back to Nashville, because that is where I will be, um, hopefully vlogging a lot more than I have been vlogging. To be honest, I don't know if it's because I kind of was going through a lot of life changes and needed some time to just process. It was also just because I was really, really, really busy doing grad school and three books. Um, but for whatever reason, I did not do a lot of vlogging. And by not do a lot of vlogging, I mean I did not do any vlogging in the 10 months that I've been here. But it has been an amazing 10 months. And before I get to the q and I just want to say thank you for being such an incredibly supportive community, especially in the last four months since A Darker Shade of Magic hit shelves. I cannot tell you what it has meant to me. It's not something you can take for granted in this business, and it has been a blessing and a, a humbling occurrence every single day. So thank you. So I kind of pitched to the internet. I said, look, I'm gonna do a vlog. One of the most frequently asked questions I get regarding A Darker Shade of Magic is, Couple, couple things. Is it a standalone? No, it is not a standalone. It is part of a series. I promise you there is more. In fact, A Gathering of Shadows hits shelves in February, which it seems like a long way away, and then you realize that 2015 is almost half over, and then you're like, oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Where's 2015 gone? Where's my life gone? Where it's, it's a slippery slope. Let me just run through it. 2016, I have a Spirit Animals book for Scholastic coming out in January. I have A Gathering of Shadows, the second book in A Darker Shade of Magic coming out in February, and I have my next YA novel, which is not called Monster. Uh, <laughs> it used to be called Monster, but it's not, and I can't tell you the title yet. Coming out, I think, May, June, sometime around there, but I'll tell you. Okay, moving on. How do you pronounce the characters' names in A Darker Shade of Magic? Very simple. Kel is Kel. Rye is Rye, like the bread. Lila is Lila, like Delilah, which her name is taken from, not Leela or anything else like that. Holland, obviously, is Holland. Lila, Rye. Not Rice, with an S, not Reese, not anything. I mean, I don't care, but if you want to know how to say it right, that is how you say it right. Rye would probably care. Someone asked, do you have a time turner? No, I do not. I really, really, really wish I did, though, because I think I would get a lot more done if I had a time turner, because I'm very tired all the time. So people have asked me how I do get so much done, which that's flattering. Thank you very much. Um, I don't have clones. That has been another one of the theories. I have the calendar system, which I have sworn by for almost two years now. I cannot believe I have been using it since August of 2013. There is a video on my channel in which I talk about the calendar system, but I thought it would be interesting to show you my calendar for basically the time since I have been in Scotland. Which brings me to kind of another subject, which is one of the reasons that I didn't vlog was that when I first came to Scotland, I was not in a very good place psychologically and uh, emotionally. Systems were down. So you can see uh, that reflected in my calendar, which is really kind of fascinating. So the calendar system, this is August. Now this was a move month, but this is August. I basically create a key system where this is the words written, 500 words written, exercise, 100 pages read, travel, etc. And then I take, I keep track on a daily basis. And I know it sounds really simple, but the fact is you really want to know how I get this much work done um, every month, every year. It is the system. It is a system of daily accountability. I, I swear by it because when I'm in an anxiety spiral, when I'm getting very overwhelmed, it's very tempting to not get anything done. And so this kind of keeps me accountable so I can see every day I try and make progress. And you can see, whereas this was August when I was really still getting the hang of things, I'll turn to last month. This is April. <laughs> so it's quite, it's quite a big difference. Not all months look this way, but I can see it. And so it's not about beating yourself up for the days when things don't get done. It's about understanding why there are days when things don't get done and kind of just keeping yourself on track. 
I, that is what I have instead of a time turner. I got several questions that asked about creative process, not in a big picture sense, but in a small picture sense, as in on the page, day by day. Am I a plotter? Am I a pantser? What do I do? How do I structure? Etc. 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 The easiest way for me to explain this is that I am a connect the dotser. I believe in establishing a certain number of plot points. They don't all have to be big. They don't all have to be twists. But they're moments that I need to exist in order for my story to be my story. In A Darker Shade of Magic is a perfect example because the whole book was jet, like kind of expanded outward from the scene in which Kel and Lila collide and Lila picks his pocket. So I have five to ten of these and then I try and create a loose outline so that I have room to find my way from point to point to point. The idea is that I can't structure it entirely because if there's no room for exploration and discovery then it it's not exciting to write. It becomes quite boring if you are the the person holding all of the cards. But you want to hold enough of the cards that you have a decent chance of winning the game. Where did the idea for Kel's coat come from? Um, because it's an awesome piece of outerwear. I really apparently do have an outerwear fetish. I think it dates back to Pushing Daisies and Ned had this incredible trench coat. Anyway, it is a piece of outerwear that functions as a room of requirement. The last question I'm going to answer here is just how do I juggle? How do I keep the stories straight and, and, you know, do I keep expansive documents? And, and I really wish I had a good answer for this. The sad thing is I try and keep it all in my head. And as I discover, my head is not a large enough place to maintain four novels simultaneously. They're spread out across like 65 different documents, note formats, a notepad beside my bed, a notes app on my phone, the notebook thing on my desktop, my files. I also apparently don't seem to be very good at naming my files in a way that's very useful. This all comes from a place of immense frustration at having just started work on a book that I've been planning for about four years and it took me multiple days just to track down the different things that I had written. So I should probably develop a better system for that, but the short answer is it lives in my head which is kind of scary, but it's also an explanation of why I'm not so good with reality. Like, I am really a complete space case when it comes to interacting with the real world on a daily basis, but I do have an excuse, I swear, and it's because I'm busy interacting with all of the worlds inside my head.